Hello there, um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial about the basics of how to create a KML or KMZ file in Google Earth. Just file that up there and I'll talk a little bit about it while I'm waiting for it to load. Okay, so what is a KML or KMZ file? It's basically a, a collection of CAD style elements, um, all saved as a neat file, which can be opened up by Google Earth. Um, you can demonstrate areas, lines, you can mark out places of interest. Uh, just simple kind of stuff like that, but it's very useful for sending to someone, uh, show them what you're talking about if they're not seeing next to you, looking at the same map. Okay, so we're going to uh, fly a quarry in the not too distant future with a UAV, and we might want to make a quick KML file of the quarry uh, looking at areas of interest uh, that we might send to potential clients or anyone that's interested. So, first of all, you want to zoom into the area of interest. I'm going to type in Bear Regis because that's a village Google Earth will know near the quarry. The quarry is called Binagar, it's in Dorset in UK. Okay, so down here, there's the quarry. It's the area we want to survey in around here. Um, the first thing we want to do is right click on My Places down here on the left, um, add a folder, and this is going to be basically a folder containing all of the CAD elements that we're going to create now um, and when you save our KML folder, KML file or KMZ file all the things that we make in the upcoming tutorial will sit within this folder so we'll give it a good easy name like Vinegar Red Zone uh, Description, you can put description in here if you want uh, you can add links to websites, you can add images um, in there as well um, do any of that. So yeah, vinegar red zone. So you can access the uh, the the menu by right clicking and add. You can basically these are your, the things you can do. You can place mark. You can put a place mark down. You can draw a path, which is like a straight line, a polygon, uh, a model, uh, and you can do a tour of your uh, KML file as well at the end if you want as well. But we're really going to concentrate on these three here. These are your uh, bread and butter. So place mark. You uh, can move it about by clicking on it, like so, moving it about. Uh, it's just going to title the region, so we're going to call it Vinegar Red Zone. Uh, you can change the icon, customize it. Uh, I'm going to use a little plane because we're going to be flying it, like that one. Uh, again, you can write descriptions here. In fact, all of these elements, the, the place mark, the paths and the polygons, they can all be changed in the same kind of way, but I'm not going to bother with changing that. Um, might want to put another place mark down over here, demonstrating where the offices are. Oh, we'll click in the box. Raymond Brown offices. And uh, I'll choose a nice icon, truck should do to that. Okay, so there we go. That means if you zoom out and you go over a little bit, you can go anywhere else in the world and all you have to do is double click on your folder and it will bring you back to where you were makes it nice and easy to find what you've been looking for ok, so first of all the path, we'll add a path from up here and the toolbar up here add the path so we're going to demonstrate the length of the haulage road running down the south of the quarry haulage road so we'll move that out of the way and zoom in a bit. And you left click, and when you've done two left clicks, you'll see you're starting to draw a line. Uh, you, when you've got this crosshair up, you can't pan around like you used to be able to when you had the little hand symbol because you'll just end up drawing lines everywhere. So, but you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to pan yourself around the map, and that means you can keep zooming at quite a close level while drawing an accurate line along this haulage road. So, so if I was to right click now, I'll delete the last point, but when you're done, you click OK, and uh, you've drawn a path. So this, as default, it's not particularly easy to see, so you can click on your element, the haulage road, right click, go to properties, um, and you can change the style and colour, so we'll just give it a blue line, make it a bit easier to see, but more importantly, we'll give it a thickness, a weight free, and there uh, you can see it's much easier to see 
uh, when you're zoomed out some way. Um, also, you can go back in and give it descriptions. So you might want to uh, quickly show how long this is. So it's just over a kilometre long. It's 1,078. So 1,078 metres long. And you click OK. So that will appear here, or if you click on the uh, the actual element itself, will bring up a little bu information bubble like that. Um, you can also right-click on these, show an elevation profile, and it will give you show you the slope up and down. And this is only based on uh, Google Earth's ele elevation kind of estimate, so it's not it's not very accurate, but it gives you a good idea of the lay of the land. Anyway. Um, close that window just to quicken that. So you might want to add a polygon, that's another thing you can do um, to demonstrate stocking area. Uh, move that window out of the way. So I'm just going to draw a line around the area that Raymond Brown, people who run the quarry, they use to store and process their stock. Uh, okay, I'm done with that. That's good. OK, um, but it's blanking out the area you want to see. So I want to go back into properties and go again to go to style and colour and change the colour of the line to something. Uh, let's use this red. Um, give it a bit more weight. Three. Um, and the inside still blanked out. You can change your pass opacity down to zero. That was one way of doing it. Or you can just change this box to outline, so it'll only show the outline of your polygon. Or if you want, you can fill it, give it a colour, the same red maybe, and give it a opacity of, say, 10%. Build an outline will show a strong outline with a faintly filled middle. I'll we'll change it up to 20 actually, just so we can see it. That's a bit better. Then that's just demonstrating the stocking area. Again, we can give it a description. So, stocking and processing area. Um, so yeah, you can use these lines um, and these polygons to mark out various areas of interest on the map and the location markers. Another neat thing you can do is the uh, the polygon itself. You can have it suspended in the air. I'll just demonstrate that quickly. So we'll call this one flight height. So we'll plan the f flight that the drone that we're using will fly at a height of 150 meters. So we'll change this to yellow. Um, we'll have that outlined. Don't want to have any uh, thing in the middle filled in. Change the altitude here to relative to ground. And if we put 150 meters in there. Let me draw this line. Ah, there, right, right clicking that I just did there and does the last point I demonstrated there. So, yeah, just make sure the, well, the altitude change, be careful of that. 150 meters in there, and click OK. And now you can zoom in, pretty much see, just kind of give a dim idea of how high the drone is going to be flying above the site of interest. And that's pretty much it. Uh, once you've finished putting all the CAD elements you want in with, that you want in and you're happy with it, you can right click on your folder, click save as, and uh, save it as a KMZ or a KML file, doesn't really matter, save it to wherever you want it, desktop. Close Google Earth down and then you can send that to anyone, then all you have to do is double click and it will open up automatically the uh, the zone that they're interested in and it'll just zoom in and they can pan around and query these these boxes like I was showing you before. That's about it I think. Um, any more questions pop it in the comments box below and I'll try and get back to you. Like I said before, I'm not an expert at this, I've just learnt it myself really, but I thought I'd just do a tutorial because the rest of the ones I've found on YouTube are pretty poor quality and I hope this is helpful to people.